Brooklyn Independent Television. Founded by Sarah East Johnson in 2000, LAVA is a movement-based ensemble and community-based nonprofit that pushes physical limits by combining dance, theater, and acrobatics. In addition to their awesome performances, the troupe also teaches classes. I wonder if I can register. I'm Sarah East Johnson, and I'm the artistic director and founder of LAVA. It started as a dance company, and um, at the heart of the organization, we are a performance troupe of women. And the movement that we perform is a blend of dance and acrobatics and other movement forms. We're also now a teaching organization. We have our studio here in Prospect Heights, and we teach adults and kids how to do the kind of acrobatics that we do and the kind of dance that we do using the kind of process that we work with. So one that is um, focused on being a group that works together harmoniously, using good communication skills and social sensitivity, and fostering the creative voice of every member of the group. So we bring those ideas into the classes, and now we have a whole community that's built around a physical practice, a creative practice, and um, a, a social sense. LAVA is a dance company or a performance group combination, um, I guess, or a dance company that over the years has incorporated more and more circus skills into our movement vocabulary, as well as wrestling and contact improv and different dance forms, as well as acrobatics. and. Um, People in the company also bring other physical trainings to the work, whether it's um, playing sports or um, doing capoeira or ballet or modern dance. All these different forms come together to make this hybrid form um, that we you know, call lava. I was traveling to San Francisco annually to San Francisco Circus Center to learn acrobatics and met Diana there. In the late 90s, there were no um, places to learn acrobatics in New York City. So we had to go to San Francisco to learn at that school. And it was a very open, encouraging environment there. I feel like it's, it's a life-changing experience. I mean, I didn't grow up thinking that I wanted to do acrobatics, but after meeting Sarah and being in lava, I can't imagine not doing this. It's such like an important part of what I do and how I see myself and just being physical with people and communicating in this way with people. It's, it's, it's great. It's amazing. It's like a dream come true. I started performing with Circus Amok, which is another New York-based performance troupe, and I worked with Jennifer Miller, the director, for nine years, and we performed, um, we performed circuses in city parks all around New York City. Um, that opened up my love for acrobatics, and at the time I was a dancer, so I formed LAVA to bring together an interest in acrobatics and dance. I found uh, a kind of validation in acrobatics that I hadn't received in dance. Most of my dance teachers told me I was too big, too muscular, that my body wasn't the right type to do dance. I persevered anyway because I loved it so much. The space that we've been creating and, and trying to create is one where, you know, we try to be um, communicative and supportive of each other and build trust. So it's a way of being with other people that is really different than how you are out in the world, you know. So I guess it's just like another way of trying to communicate with people. I've lived in Prospect Heights for 20 years now and I love this neighborhood passionately. Uh, when I first moved here, we had 
bullets come through our windows, but I always knew my neighbors and my neighbors were always really nice to me and we always had a really good rapport and I always felt good here. The neighborhood has changed a lot in the last five years, I'd say. I think that's really important for all of us to have that familiarity with each other. And I think that our space is another way that neighbors intersect and people do get to know each other human to human. We're a group of women and that's surprisingly still shocking to people that we're all women and that the type of work we do, we lift one another, that we don't need men to be there. I think it requires us to challenge ourselves being all women. There's a strong feminist understanding in the work process and the way we communicate with one another and trying to help one another be as strong and as creative as we can be. I formed Lava and I named it Lava because this idea of a really dynamic earth of things moving around was exciting to me as a choreographer and Lava is something that flows out of the earth and it explodes out of the earth so it's got these two really different movement qualities. It also is something that can be a destructive force but it can also be a generative force and I like things that um, show us the world in a, in a slightly more complex way that things aren't either or that there's this space where we can be um, two different things at once. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.